This is Lieutenant Samza. The Allied attack against the SD Ravana has deteriorated. We have lost the GTD Delacroix, and the surviving warships in the battle group are damaged. Petrarch is scrambling the 107th to assist. Command will also sortie the GVC Somptus and the GTC Yakiba. Once they cross the subspace portal, we will move them into position. For this mission, we'll fly the GTB Boanerdzis, the Alliance's new attack bomber. The Boanerdzis maximizes shielding and payload while offering enough maneuverability to make it a viable tactical unit. The bomber won't handle as well as the Herc too, so stay on the move. Bombers make easy targets. With our Cyclops torpedoes, we'll have the firepower to take out the Ravana. If you're too far from the target, the flak guns will neutralize your bomb, so get as close as possible. Once you fire your salvo, hit your burners to get clear of the blast. The Cyclops has an extensive lock time and countdown. Indeed. If we succeed, we will have secured the jump node between the Nebula and Gamma Draconis. If we fail, we pave the way for a Sheevan invasion of our systems. Good luck, pilot. We know you can do it. Please review your objectives for this mission. Destroy Ravana. And hopefully we'll be exiting this mission with a destroyer kill. It's perfectly possible. Now the Boanerges. Interesting ship in that it is kind of useless when the enemy has fighter cover. Since it doesn't have a turret on it, and it's not maneuverable war enough to do without it. The Ursa here, from the Great War, has a turret on it. The Medusa, meanwhile, is maneuverable, relatively speaking for a bomber. The Boanerges has the maneuverability of the Ursa, and the self-defense instincts of the Medusa. So, yeah. A specialized craft, I'd call it. I'm gonna stick everyone in Medusa. Feel more comfortable in that. Ursa is also a viable choice for this, but I just prefer having something a bit more nippy. So, uh, I'll take Subarx, of course. And more Subarx. And nothing but Cyclops. That's what we're here to do. Kill a destroyer. Perhaps the best music in Free Space 2 here, for this briefing. We are going to be engaging fighters a bit too, at least I will be. Because uh, our fighter cover is somewhat uh, reluctant to help out. I've acquired such a lock on the Ravana. The destroyer is currently out of range. Okay. Got to take out these basilisks. Okay. Right. So that's uh, basilisk out the picture. <laughs> okay. So what should we target here? That was uh, quite a sweep. Probably should target the weapon system, so this will be the most uh, vulnerable thing and should help out the Kenmu and the Yakiba. So let's see if we can't get over there. Gun power down, don't need it. Uh, this is a Medusa after all. Flak incoming. Okay. Time for a bombing run, as always, getting close and blast away. 3% weapons. So we can't bring down the weapon system like this. Okay. That should hurt the Ravana. Okay. Uh, gonna take out the Basilisk because they are rather insistent on dropping missiles on our tail the rest of this mission. And I'd rather neutralize them when they are less occupied with us.
Okay. Got a uh, fighter beam taking pot shot at us, but that's not too much of a concern considering that uh, the weapon's accuracy has been shot all to hell by our Cyclops torpedoes. Okay. Will do. Everyone, ignore my target. Instead, focus on covering me. In we go. Cyclops away. Another pair warmed up, ready to go. Kenmu is in very good shape. Mostly thanks to the weapon systems being disabled, I think. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Uh, fire, yeah. Okay, get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Away we go. And no major casualties on that one. The destruction of the Ravana is the most significant victory over the Shivan since the end of the Great War. We have secured the subspace node linking the nebula with Gamma Draconis, and we have demonstrated our technological superiority over our Great War nemesis. We have proven without a doubt that we have the firepower to neutralize any Shivan threat. A new class of intercept fighter will be stationed on board the Aquitaine. I have recommended that you be transferred to this unit. Interceptors are fast, high-performance fighters requiring pilots with good reflexes. You've got the talent for it, and you'll represent the Ravens well. Maybe you say so. The band has ordered the Aquitaine to return to the Capella system. Admiral Petrock will brief the crew about our upcoming operation. So, big question, did we actually get that kill? Yes, we did. SD Ravana. Hmm. Jolly good show, chaps. We sure showed those Sheevans. Hardly any casualties, and we can definitely match our Great War nemesis. Really, I, I see nothing bringing down the might of the GTVA anytime soon. It's not like we're tempting fate by saying that. It's not like the Sheevans have something very nasty up their sleeves that they're going to deploy uh, anytime soon. Nope, nope. Our time with the Ravens is done, and we're much better off for it. GTBA continues to triumph, and we should be finishing off the NTF next time, as we join up with an intercept squadron and get to fly uh, one of the more aesthetically pleasing fighters of the game. Looking forward to it. And also looking forward to uh, our squadron leader, who I think is my favourite in the entirety of Free Space 2, for reasons I will explain when we actually hear his voice. See you then. <laughs>